Hi folks, we're on the install video. So we're on the home stretch before the light video. And what we have is we've installed the bottle cage. Uh, we have the bottle container ready. But the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna mount the lights and leave the leads hanging so we can connect everything else. So we will have some shuffling around. My son's gonna be passing me some things. So what we have here is we have the light, 18 watt light. We have the bracket. This is the top of the bracket. It is a tongue and groove bracket. So lights, bracket. We're gonna mount that bracket so that the lights sit on top. To do that, I'm just gonna turn this over. Get this started. If you watch the parts video, you'll see that this can move back and forth and we'll use that function to separate the lights a little bit. So I am just going to snug that down a little bit. We are going to get it in its right position later. So I'm just going to snug that down just a little bit. All right. So again, this is tongue and groove. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring this up here. We're going to drop the lead down through. And now we're going to have a plastic sleeve and that's going to go over the bar. That's going to protect the bar from the clamp. That's going to go between the clamp and the bar. And we have our tongue and groove. So we're going to slide that right in. Okay, and now we have a bolt. Thank you. And that bolt is going to go right in the back of that clamp. If I can get it all lined up. So that is a one and a quarter clamp. And we do need to make sure that the tongue grooves in, the plastic's in, everything is all lined up. We gotta put it on the fattest area of the bar. But I do have it kind of slid to the side and we'll adjust that back and forth after. And the up and down. But for this demo, our first light is attached and we have our lead. So our lead is going to come down here and join with the Y. We do want some slack because we do wipe out at night. And when we spin those handlebars, we don't want to pull everything apart. So the next one, we have the next light. And Andrew has already got the bolt started for us, so that's great. And the plastic ring. So we're going to put that plastic ring over the bar and we're going to do that. So let me cinch this up and this time we're going to move this to the right. So we're going to try to spread these lights out. Snug that up. We'll adjust it off film later. All right. So we have our sleeve. We're going to move that up just about where the other one is. We have our tongue and groove bottom. I'm gonna slide that through. And we have our bolt. Drop that right in there. Try to get it to line up here. There's some marks on this bar, so it's nice. I can get each of the lights the same spot on the handlebars. All right. 
great. Okay, so you can see this one is a little bit closer than the other one. So I'm just gonna adjust that real quick. To do that, we're just gonna take this wrench, loosen the nut, and we can slide this light farther to the left. Great, so now we have a little bit of distance between them. And this lead will be for our right light. So we'll put that lead right down there. Sorry for cutting in front of the camera. So now we're gonna do the bottle cage and the battery. So we have a bottle cage here and a battery. And because we wanna reserve some warmth, I'm gonna be winter fat biking, I'm gonna just wrap this in a sock. And that will keep some warmth to that battery. And it will also keep it from jiggling around much in the can. So we're just gonna put that battery in there. Just squeeze the top of this a little bit and that will all just fit right in there. There we go. So I need to expose that so I can put the lead DC power into the hole inside. There we go, close up the sock a bit. So there is an on and off switch in there. I'm gonna turn it on. So now the power is on. I'm gonna put the cap on. So we now have our can and cord. Now this cord's very long. So my goal would be to take this and just wrap it inside this so that we can shorten that cord up a bit. Because the next connectors are gonna be just about where they need to be. And we can always pull more out later. Okay, so you saw that, and that leaves us our end. Of course, after the ride, I can just unzip this, take the battery out, charge it right up. Or I can leave it in here, plug it in from the charger, and do that. There is a hole here. I'm going to use some uh, sealant there just to close that off a bit. So we now have our battery. And there's our lead. So the next thing we need is our master switch. So we took a Y connector and we put in a master switch for this battery. So the battery is inside, but it's on. And we need to convert that power out to our lights. So we're going to join these. And that gives us our on and off switch in each of our leads for our headlamps. So now what we're going to do is I want to cinch this up a bit. We don't want this really to move. So we need two of these. So you can see this here, these are tongue and groove. And because the frame is wider than six inches round diameter, I'm just gonna seal that like that. And we're gonna come around and we're gonna cinch this cable to the frame. All right, there's our first cinch. We're gonna cinch the bottom of this switch so that it doesn't have any wiggle. We're gonna uh, do the top of that switch. Again, we don't want anything really exposed that might result in getting hung up on branches or trees. So we are gonna zip tie this stuff all down. Okay, excellent. So now we have an on and off switch. It's currently off. So off is towards the battery, on is towards the lights. We are in the home stretch. 
So we have each of our leads. Those leads come up to the Y. So we're gonna connect those. And we have enough play here. Uh, we can cinch this. There's a couple things we can do. We can do wraps around the bars, but we do want some slack in case we spin our wheels. So in this case, let's uh, shorten this up just a little bit. What we'll do is we'll just wrap the bar And now we'll shorten it up just a little bit. There we go. And then we have our other one. Same thing for the length. We're just going to wrap the bar once. I'm going to join in. We'll uh, adjust these as we go along to ensure that we have the right length that we need. Sort of like putting on your dropper cable or your brakes. So now you can see we have enough cabling that when we turn, we're not going to stretch or pull those cables. And we'll pretty those up. We can zip tie those at the top and do different things there. Um, but it's fully installed now. We have battery on, master switch, leads go out to the lights. I should be able to just push this switch. And there's our lights. So now, as I'm riding, I can ride with my friends, ride in a group, stop for water, stop for chats. I can turn off those lights and save a bit of battery. So that master switch is a good idea. I would recommend putting it in. Otherwise, you're going to be taking this cap off and having to deal with the on and off switch inside for the battery. So on. And off. Thanks everyone, that's our light install. The next thing will be filming us outside with my son tootling around the yard. And then in the future, I will mount my GoPro and we will take a ride through the woods with the GoPro and you'll be able to see these lights in action in the woods. Thanks everybody, bye.